Happy Thursday, Bears. Coming up, we look at a new local nutrition shop, an inside look at the ice hockey team, and an interview with Mr. Theato. Next week, students are back in the building on block schedule five days a week. During the first 20 minutes of your first period class, there will be a webinar regarding all-in learning at the high school. The Upper Arlington School Board voted on Friday, February 12th, that all UA students return to five days of in-person learning starting March 1st. We reached out to the school board Monday and received a reply this morning from the school board president, Scott McKenzie, stating that they are only able to meet and discuss decisions like the all-in transition during an official public meeting. You can access the webinar with more information posted February 12th on the UA Schools YouTube channel. We now hear from Mr. Theato, who joins us from the WARL classroom. This week, students had the opportunity to switch to Online Academy. We heard that upwards of 150 students switch. Is that number accurate? Yeah, we had approximately, um, it was a little less than that, I believe it was about 120-ish uh, students from the high school that switched to the Online Academy. And uh, did the school expect that many students to switch? Um, you know, as we started looking at the quarantine guidelines, we thought that we were going to have a high number, um, you know, with students participating in spring sports and those type of things and want to maintain their season. So we anticipated a high number. So uh, how, are you, how are we going to manage uh, with the number of drivers and the loss of Mount Holyoke parking lot? Yeah, so parking has uh, been an issue this year um, only because of the construction that's been going on at the high school. Um, as you may remember, the seniors last year, we, we, um, we encouraged carpooling and those type of things. Obviously, with COVID, we can't cur encourage uh, carpooling. And so with a limited number of spots, we reduced the price of parking very, very low. I think it was a $50 discount, uh, but we weren't able to assign spots. And so um, parking is open to all seniors. I understand that it's not perfect or ideal, um, but if you see underclassmen parking in the parking in the parking lot, please let us know. Officer Rice knows so we can deal with it. Um, but we're just going to have to be patient with each other. So a lot of students have a question with lunch and uh, the new implementation of tents. How will that be implemented? So lunch, uh, so first and foremost, seniors will continue to have open lunch. Students, my walk is going off. <laughs> so uh, uh, students can uh, be signed out for lunch by their parents like they've had all year long. Um, and then uh, this past week, or last week, we sent out a form for students to pick a spot to eat. So students will choose this place to eat. They'll be distant six foot. So people will be eating in the gym, classrooms, LC, all these different places. And when it gets warmer, uh, we're going to bring out tents uh, so students have an option to eat outside as well. Awesome. And uh, with spring break coming up, what are you expecting to happen the two weeks after spring break? Well, I'm, um, <laughs> I'm hoping that we come back and everyone is safe and healthy. Um, families that are traveling to states that have a 50% or higher COVID uh, rate should self-quarantine. Um, and so you can find all of those uh, states, I think on the Ohio's uh, website. Um, but I'm hoping everybody comes back, we're healthy, and we're, we're, we get back at it for the fourth quarter. Awesome. And now to Jack and Nora with sports. On Tuesday, the boys' basketball team won 59 to 48 against Walnut Ridge. The game also marked the last game to be played in the 65-year-old Jim Hamilton court. The Golden Bears now advance to the sectional finals. They will play Worthington Kilbourne Friday at 7 p.m. The live stream will be posted on their Twitter at UA Men's B-Ball. The Swing Bears won districts last weekend at Bowling Green and are now headed to states this weekend. Player of the Week goes to Jack Kirschsetter, who became the first men's diver to qualify for states since 2009. They will take place this Saturday at the Brandon Natatorium in Canton, Ohio. Also this Saturday, wrestling sectionals take place at the high school. The Bears, will ha will, the Bears have multiple grapplers hoping to make it through the districts, taking place on March 1st through 6th. Senior res wrestler Isabel Benedetto finished third at the OHSWCA Girls State Wrestling Championship. She claimed the 38th state placing medal in UA wrestling history and became the program's eighth two-time state placer. Now Jack takes a look at the Ice Hockey Bears' big CBJ Cup win. The Upper Arlington hockey team just won their second CBJ Cup in a row and are now headed into the state tournament on a hot streak. The men beat St. Charles 3-2 on February 14th to win the 2021 CBJ Cup. With a win in the first round against Columbus Academy last weekend 4-0, the Bears head into the second round facing Berlin this Saturday. I talked to senior captain Adam Carup on how they match up to other teams in the tournament. 
weakness that we had during the regular season was our team is deep. Um, we don't look past any team. We gotta come prepared for every game. Uh, going deep, we're gonna um, not look past any team. We'll take every team strongly, and every anyone can win the game. So we gotta compete our hardest. The Bears take on Olentangy Berlin this Saturday at six at the Ice House. This has been Jack McLaughlin reporting for the WARL. The game this weekend will be streamed to the Golden Bears Twitter at UA underscore ice underscore hockey. The decision of going back to school full time has been a big question for many spring athletes. According to Monday's board meeting, students that are quarantined will continue to attend school. However, athletes will have to quarantine from their sports. We will continue to update throughout the season. And now to Matthew and Colin with Community News. Howdy Bears and happy Thursday. The Upper Arlington Police Department is investigating incidents in which three homes and two vehicles have been struck by gunfire in the past three weeks. Through a statement on February 17th, the department reported an incident that occurred at a house in the 2000 block of Middlesex Road. On February 19th, the department said, as the investigation has continued, it has been discovered that a total of two homes and two vehicles were struck. Both homes and one vehicle were struck on Middlesex Road and another vehicle was struck on Fenwick Road. Uh, there does not appear to be a connection with any of the victims on the February 16th incident or with the victims of a previous shots fired incident on Berkshire Road that occurred on January 23rd. If you are aware of any sus suspicious behavior, the police department is asking you to call the non-emergency number at 614-459-2800. Now Koppel takes a look at the new nutrition store gaining popularity in UA. I popped over to the newest nutrition shop in Upper Arlington to see what it's all about and to see who is really running it. I came up with the idea of UA Nutrition um, simply because nutrition has always been super important to me in the last five years. Um, I was in school for dietetics and I still am. So I love the idea of nutrition and I love that it is super important for us to um, know about nutrition and properly fuel our bodies, especially for athletes like myself. So my flavors are super unique. I absolutely love them. So I actually um, kind of just get behind the bar and get creative. I love sweets. I do have a sweet tooth. So I have to compromise, right? So I try to think of things. What are my favorite sweets? Um, Oreos are so amazing. How can I make an Oreo shake and make it taste just like an Oreo, but also, you know, have that balance of healthy and that sweet tooth? I also had to ask. How is she the only person that works behind the counter? So it is definitely hard. It takes a lot of, um, it takes a lot of dedication, um, a lot of hard work. But when you're, when you're passionate about something, it doesn't feel like work. If you're interested in trying a delicious shake, waffle, or even a tea, you can find UA Nutrition in a Tremont Center. This has been Cameron Koffel reporting for the WARL. Can't wait to try the new spot. Ambassadors for a Change is a club at the high school that focuses in ma on making the high school and the community a better place. I talked with one of the ambassadors, Caroline Hackett, who informed me on how COVID has affected the club this year and on the projects they have been doing. This year, the group has had to split up into three different sections that meet on either Mondays and Thursdays in person or Friday virtually, where they continue to pursue the mission on fostering inclusi inclusivity in the community. They continue to still have guest speakers and complete projects. They also still hold events to continue their mission. They are currently making informative posters for Black History Month to hang them on classroom doors. If you would like more information on how to help ambassadors for a change or join the club, email chackett at uaschools.org. And now, back to Maine. Today after school, which is at 12 p.m. due to the early dismissal, there is a conversation for understanding with Mr. Moon. It's a Q&A style Zoom link, so you can top on that. A description was sent out to all students on campus. If you are interested in receiving the President's Volunteer Service Award for 2020-2021, you must submit your hours to be approved by March 1st. Contact Ms. Gogolowski check, and check out the Community Service website. The link is in the Golden Bear newsletter on your class canvas page. It's not too late to nominate a faculty or staff member for the Golden Apple Award. Visit www.uaca.org to fill out a nomination form by 11.59 p.m. if there is a teacher you would like to nominate. Next week, we look at gymnastics and local artists. Thanks for tuning in. Rock on, Bears!